Welcome to the Johnson Gillespie Courts at the Weiske Gymnasium inside the Wilmore Center on the Ripon College campus as we get set for Ripon College women's basketball as the 9-3 Cornell Rams come to town, 4-1 in the Midwest Conference to take on the Ripon College Redhawks who are 8-9 overall, 7-1 in the MWC. Marty, uh, just like we saw a great game between the men, uh, we are expecting the same thing out of this uh, game this afternoon as well. Yeah, I mean, it starts with the head coach for Cornell. In his 17th season, Brent Grassi is a tremendous coach, as you, uh, you're you going to hear from Coach Busalaki, a heck of a recruiter. He's reloaded. It's taken him a couple years, and he's got a young team, an aggressive team. His style of playing, he puts pressure on your defense with his offense, and he puts pressure on your offense with his defense, and he loves transition, and uh, he's going to be a tough nut to crack. But they only both each have one loss. Coach Busalaki is in first place by virtue of more games and the uh, wins in the win column. I look at this just like the men's game. I think it's going to be a very good game. Size difference for uh, Cornell is going to is, is going to be help, help them a lot more. We're going to hear from head coach Lauren Busalaki right now. You're watching Ripon College women's basketball on Midwest Conference Television and the Ripon Channel. Coach Busalaki, thank you for joining me here. We're minutes away from the game with Cornell Rams from Mount Vernon, Iowa. It's a big game, I don't have to tell you. They come in with one loss. You just got delivered your first loss of the season on the road a week ago today. How do you see this game going, you know, going against a really senior-laden uh, head coach? Yeah, it's going to be a super physical game. We've got it. There, we need to match Cornell's intensity just from a physicality standpoint both in the paint uh, and also offensively as well. Like just making sure that we're playing out of a position of power, we're hunting rebounds, and we're taking care of the basketball. They're gonna challenge us in every aspect that way. He likes an up-tempo game on both ends, doesn't he? Yep. He likes to defensively get on you, but offensively put pressure on the defense, just the nature of the way that he runs that offense. So yeah. that's what that'll be your challenge, huh? Right, yep. yeah, we're going against, uh, it does a great job recruiting, uh, athletes and so we've got to make sure that we take time we change speeds and we lean in and, and finish calm under fire somebody else does a really good job of uh, recruiting too that'd be you coach yeah. <laughs> thank you and best of luck to you this afternoon thanks Marty thanks for your coverage you bet we'll be right back for starting lineups in a moment Welcome back to the Johnson Gillespie Courts here on Alumni Weekends here for the basketball program. Along with Martin Ernster, I'm Jason Mansworth, Riley Eisnagel behind the camera. Let's take a look at your starting lineups. First for the Cornell Rams. They will start number five, a five foot four inch junior from Albertette, Iowa, Madison Osborne. Number 12, a five foot five inch sophomore from Littleton, Colorado, Callie March. Number 25, a five foot 10 inch sophomore from Warren, Michigan. That is Rachel Adawusi. Number 34, a five foot 10 inch sophomore from Chicago, Illinois, Anya Simmons. And number 44, a six foot three inch junior from Winterset, Iowa, Madison Waters. Under the head coaching direction of Brent Bracey, those are the Cornell Rams. Starting lineup for the Ripon College Redhawks. Number zero, five foot three inch freshman from Nielsville, Bella Opelt. Number three, a five foot one inch junior from Clayton, Wisconsin, guard Kiana Fall. Number 13, a five foot 10 inch senior from Austin, Wisconsin, center Skyler Brescia. Number 14, a five foot 11 inch junior from Muskego, forward Bonnie Jensen. And number 23, Allison Leslie. We'll take it just a pause here for a moment of silence. Thank you. As they were recognizing Julie Johnson in her honor. And I mentioned 23, Allison Leslie, a 5'8 inch junior from Clayton, wrapping up the lineup for the Red Hawks. Head coach Lauren Busalaki and her ninth season assistant coaches, Dave Johnson, Megan Jensen, and Bill Peters. Well, Marty, anything we got to, you know, Discuss, talk about the fact that uh, Cavi March has 11 points per ball game. Madison Walters with Waters with the 10, almost 11 points per ball game. Rachel Anna Lucy. I think the key for them is Simmons, number 34. Yeah. The super sophomore out of Chi Town. 
very capable of getting a double-double. She's done it uh, multiple times this year. And uh, last outing against Grinnell, 15 boards, 15 points. What Really interesting, I looked at 10 of their 12 games that they've played. She doesn't get in foul trouble. Right. She does not get in foul trouble. I mean, I didn't find a game where she had three fouls in the contest. So that's interesting. Keep an eye on that. On our end, out of four of the five starters, Cornell is taller than Rippon. So it's going to behoove Rippon to play smart basketball and not force bad, bad things with the ball, whether it be dribble, dribble with a purpose, and take good shots. So Rippon will be introduced by PA announcer Lynn Krause now. Uh, Rippon in their Team JJ uniforms today. Yeah. I was here for the end of the uh, women's alumni game. It was close. Did Rippon win? Yes. Uh, <laughs> I believe it was red 38, white 37. So it was, it was pretty close. I ran into a couple of the players, veterans, coming out the door when I was walking in. <laughs> Maddie Coster being one of them. Oh, that she was. Said that their team won <laughs> as, we get, as we get introductions here. Um, there's a key right there you were asking me. Skylar Brescia, she's great on the boards. She's crafty, uh, particularly on the offensive boards and, and crafty underneath. She has to have a clean game. The player that I want to see stay out of foul trouble because she's so multi-talented for a player of her height, Bonnie Jensen just introduced. Uh, looking ahead to the schedule for the women, they'll be home against Beloit next Tuesday at Lawrence next week, Thursday, uh, sa Saturday, I'll get it right. Yeah. Uh, and then on the 9th at Cornell. Yep. And then head coach Brent Brassi in his 17th year with Cornell. He's got a heck of a bio and uh, played men's basketball at Mount, um, Mount Vernon Cornell College. And uh, 11 years men coach at his arch rival, Coe College, oh. with a great record. Walked away from it, took this program ever since, and turned it around and made it a top contender. So Red Hawks of the Team JJ's today, which is, uh, I'm going to go, is that Teal? Am I saying teal? Yeah, I think it is teal. Okay. I don't think it's jade. Sometimes, you know, okay. that jade teal thing yeah. going. One's more bluer and one's more greener. And I think you're right. With the red numbers and Cornell and the grays with the purple numbers and purple trim. Yep. So they got the overall size on the, on the block. Cornell does. We'll see. Brescia get a jump. So is Simmons and the control by Waters and Cornell. We'll set up. Player to player defense. Run on the baseline. We'll throw back out up top. Madison Waters with it. She'll left handed go up. Blocked in there from Brescia. Yeah, it was. Kiana Fall quickly up court. Jensen on the right wing. Working against Santa Lucy. Now Simmons against. Yeah, watch Simmons. Opelt. Allison Leslie down inside. Skyler Brescia will work against Waters. Nine seconds blocked. She returned the favor. Up the court. Here comes the Rams. Off the screen, coming from the edge. Now back over to the left side. Set up inside the Waters. Runner through the middle and a take, and there'll be a jump ball held as Cali March came through the middle of the lane. And it was great reach, Ed. Uh, the few losses that they've had this season, Cornell, I was checking out all the games. I had a lot of downtime at home. March struggles with the ball, in other words, turnovers. When they lose, there seems to be a, a theme there. No score here early, just about a minute gone. Red Hawks will work the outside edge. Leslie on the top side. Now over to Kiana Fall. Fall will throw back to the middle. Jensen comes up off the window and good. How's that for pretty basketball? Jensen comes down Main Street. Kiana Fall finds her. Way to use the glass, Jensen. Around the outside edge, there's March. Back over to Waters inside this time. Rachel on a no good. 
Look Look at it on the run, ahead to Jensen. She'll smoke it around, put it up, and no good. Rebounded. Brescia goes up hard with it, no good. Jensen, what a great move when she went up to avoid the charge, went to her left hand. Couldn't finish, but her teammate bailed her out with an offensive rebound. Skyler Brescia will go to the free throw line for the Red Hawks, 8 7 And free throw is good for Brescia. Mostyn, the pride of Mostyn. Senior. And the next one on the way is good. Rippin jumps out to a 4-0 lead. Eight minutes remaining in the first quarter. March with it inside to Waters. Yeah, high post with Waters. Back over to March for three. That'll come up short. Rebound Jensen had it, lost it. It's going to go off a key on a fall out of bounds. Stays with. Yep, I think it's the right oh, no. call. It looks yeah. like it was off of Fall's foot. Yep. And now the inbounds from Simmons. She'll look inside from Osborne into Waters. Back out to March. March will come through, put up the right hand. I think she just couldn't believe she was that wide open coming through the middle of the lane. Yeah, lady. and just kind of flicked it up there. 4-2, Kiana Fall will walk it across. Bello O'Pelt. The freshman from Nielsville. Fall with it at the free throw line. That'll miss. No good. Yeah, she lost her rhythm, you know, when she didn't go up with it right away. Adawusi with the rebound. And over to Osborne. Back to Rachel. Now finding Callie March. Three minutes gone here in the first quarter. Simmons on the step back. Puts up the shot. No good. Rebounded out. Rippin, Bella Opelt comes away with it. She'll run it up the court. Both teams doing a good job defensively. Bonnie Jensen on the edge. She'll get a traveling violation called on her. Yeah. Don't need those if you're a Rippin fan. The unforced turnovers. Happy feet. They don't call that in men's basketball, though. You will not see that. Taylor Reese checking into the ball game from Suntan Valley, Arizona, and also a missed one as well. We'll get there, I promise. I think it, you said Taylor Reese? Yes, yeah. correct. Okay. Another traveling violation called yeah, uh, Megan Gandrup, Gandrup also coming in from Clinton, Iowa. Home yep. of the Lumber Kings. Yeah. Is that uh, semi pro baseball? Yep. Correct. That was a guess. <laughs> nice job, Mark. What else would it be? All star wrestling? 4-2, Red Hawks lead, 6.25 remaining here in the first. Pass over to the left side, there's Kiana Fall. Leslie will come through, there's Brescia. She'll wait for the rest of the pack, put up the shot, miss it. And now a foul called against Rippin. I think against Brescia from behind, let's see. Yep, it will be on Skyler Brescia. Missed the open shot, pump head shoulder fake. She was anticipating something that wasn't there. And that's what size will do to you sometimes on the block. Simmons will inbound and find Osborne to the right side. Waters with it, working through. Shot put up is good. Nice move. Beat pressure on the defense on that one and the inbounds. Waters, nice move with the drop step. Tied at four here. Rippin goes with a high post also with Brescia. Kiana Fall will baseline back out Leslie, three-pointer. Yep. No surprise there. No, and if you saw that, their first loss last weekend, a week ago today at Grinnell, that was the stat that hurt Rippin. Threes. Bill Peters saw something on that defense. He just spent the last 10 or 15 seconds having a pretty good conversation with Coach Lauren. Not sure what he saw. But when that opened up on the on the release here on the three, he was into it. Foul going to be called on March. 7-4 Red Hawk lead, 5-15 remaining. Jensen looking for Kiana Fall there, but didn't. Instead goes to Brescia over to Opel. Bella with the dribble against Simmons. And a bad pass picked off. Yeah, and if she got it, she she wasn't going to gain with it. They were just walled off defensively. 
Inside the Waters working against Brescia again. Now they'll put two on her and she'll get called for the travel. Jensen with a help defense caused the walk. And Brescia has to be careful not to pick up that second foul this early in the contest. Maya Murray checking in, freshman from Middleton for the Rams. I think of Middleton, I think of some good girls basketball over the last 20 plus years. At least every time I took a girls team into that area, it was good basketball. Abby Hartman into the ball game, Jordan Bakoritz as well for the Red Hawks. Bakoritz, the defensive specialist, very aggressive player. Leslie quick feed underneath Keanu Fall, that won't go. Great play, couldn't finish. Adewusi on the rebound for the Rams, a 7-4 lead for the Red Hawks. Murray around to the left edge. Adewusi will work, work up against Brescia. Get picked off, and here comes Keanu Fall. Fall on the crossover, throw back out. Leslie for another wide open three. That'll go down and around, but no good. Rebound back out, Brescia and into Hartman. Basket good, Red Hawks. Offensive rebounding, offensive assists. Brescia, she'll assist like a guard, and she'll rebound like a forward. Abby Hartman will go to the free throw line for the hand one. She's such an unselfish player too, what, you know, watching her through the years. Megan Gander, the foul for the Rams. Brescia will check out, so will Leslie. You know, that was a nice, nice job of setting the table for Leslie. She didn't drop that one, but nice uh, offensive set. Sydney Pittenger will come in, also Cassidy Walters for the Hawks. Her nickname, Sid Pitt. Sid Pitt, yeah. <laughs> Adewusi on a spin move, she'll get called for the travel. Patience, sometimes. Sure. Why not? Ripping off to a good start. Less than four minutes in the first quarter. 9-4 lead for Ripon. Sid in, over the top, and good. Good movement. The Colorado kid, Sid Pitt. I like saying that, can you tell? Right? Sydney Pittenger from Broomfield, Colorado, the six foot senior. Shot on the way is up from Adewusi and good. Nice jumper. Yeah, she shot it earlier, just good closer, just gonna get it to fall. Timeout of Iowa. Iowa. 30 second timeout. Red Hawks lead 11 6. If you take a look, quick stance for you, ripping 44% shooting, four of nine. And Grinnell, uh, Cornell, I should say, two of seven for 28%. Yeah, so uh, Cornell, they got that uh, a jumper. Otherwise, they've got a little thing down the lane. And Ripon's done a good job so far of, uh, of, of controlling the boards, it seems. You know, it, one and done's no second opportunities for the Rams yet. And uh, looking at their stats, they. Uh, they do a great job on the boards. And like I said, uh, Simmons in particular stands out statistically as a dual threat, as a scorer and a rebounder, just a sophomore. Right side, that's Hartman. Pittenger to the right side, over to Kiana Fall. Five point lead for Ribbon. 3.13 remaining first quarter. Pittenger back to fall, eight on the shot, little lean in, that won't go this time. And ball out of bounce off of Cornell, Rippin basketball. Yeah, Rippin did just enough to irritate that. That might have been number 20 that uh, Hartman, that might have been the, the person that did it. Looks and like the uh, okay, we got Jensen back in. Correct. Shot on the way from Jensen is no good. Rebounded down by Brescia. Leslie back in as well. Hartman around to the edge. Bonnie Jensen. Oh, I'll take it. That one won't go. No. Who's there though? Brescia picks it up, puts it in. I tell you, since day one as a Ripon Red Hawk, she has been an offensive rebounding machine. 13 6 Hawks lead by 7, 235 remaining. First quarter action. Adewusi working against Leslie. Good defense by Leslie. That one Brescia picks off. 
She'll walk the line and wait for the rest of them. Good smart, move. smart senior. I think she thought she was maybe going to go off the rails a little bit, right? And just kind of put the brakes on. Fall yeah. for a three. That one goes up. Bresh is there and she'll get hit. No call. Are you kidding me? Wow. On to the other side. Here comes March. Another offensive rebound. I should say Madison Osborne with that. Now March. March for a three good. Wow. No call on the other end and a three on the other. Huge. 13-9, Red yeah. Hawks lead by four, minute 52. Huge plus for Cornell. Jensen drops it up through the lane, puts up the shot. That's the Bonnie Jensen I've been looking to see. Not only beat, do the blow by on the initial defender, but then crossover dribble, get by the second and then the third. What I was saying earlier in the year, Jason, with her, she's doing the blow by, taking her initial defender off the dribble, but then getting called for charges on the, against the help defense. Bonnie Jensen free throw line, that one's gonna miss no good. And the second one on the way. It's uh, why I, at 5'10", I've always talked about her skill set for 5'10". That one goes out of bounds off of Ribbon. 13-9, score remains the same. Anaya Simmons will enter and get the ball into Madison Osborne. Coach Buzalaki talking to her veteran point guard, Fall. Waters in the corner. Good defense being out there by Great. who else? Yeah, and what denial by Opelt, the freshman, would not let her, the shadowed her, wouldn't give her the out, the out pass. Simmons will do the inbounds just in front of the Rippon bench. Adawusi gets it, now the screen. Leslie fouls on it, puts up the shot and good for Rachel. Nice mid-range jumper. Well, they uh, led by seven, did rip it, now it's down to two. Yeah, that was a big change of events on the no-call for us. Now look at that feed. Inside to Jensen, up and good for two from Skyler Brush on the assist. No kidding. 15 to 11, a minute remaining here in the first quarter. Yeah, they knocked down that three, Cornell, and it seems now their offense seems to be taken off. Hesitation dribble. Step back on the three. That one's from 22 and one and three quarter inch. Pretty shot. 15, 14. Rippin leading by one. Jensen on the catch, now back to Brescia. And a foul called away from the ball. Yep. They're gonna say that Bonnie Jensen for the Red Hawks got held on her cut through the, through the lane. Rachel Adewusi with the foul, that'll be her second. One of their better rebounders, defenders, takes a seat. Gantra back in, so is Taylor Reese. Here comes the inbounds. Jensen, yeah. She yep. shuffled the feet there. Yeah, she's got a that old expression by John Wood, the Wizard of West of, uh, of the UCLA. Yeah. Be quick, don't be in a hurry. That's her second walk today. 15-14, Rippin leading by one. And now another foul away. Now they're calling the hold down at the other end. Is that going to be in Brescia? Yeah, she'll That's come out. Huge. Your, your best performer so far in the game for the Red Hawks just picked up her second foul late in the first quarter. Sydney Pittenger back in for the Hawks. 14 seconds on the clock. Three pointer on the wing is no good. Rebounded out by Pittenger. 6.5. Kiana Fall is going to have to launch one here. She will drive the lane, put up the shot. <laughs> Couldn't get it to go. She took a hit on the way down through the end of the first quarter. It's the Red Hawks 15, the Rams 14. Thoughts on the first quarter, Marty? Yeah, overall, I think Brescia has carried the offense and the half-court offense, both offensive rebounds, assist, and scoring. So that, for Ripon, that's what I've seen. I think on the other side of things, ever since...
the guard hit that three for Cornell, their offense has just exploded. They seem to be playing with more confidence. The lid's off the rim now for Cornell. So now we're going to see the kind of game I thought we'd see. 50% shooting for Cornell in that first quarter, 6 of 12. Redhawks 38%, 6 of 16. Behind the arc, Redhawks 1 of 4, and Cornell 2 of 4. Uh, Rippon went to the line five times, made two of them. Cornell never saw the line. It, it, uh, we call in the men's game that just right. played because the stats are the same. Rippon shot more, but shot a lower percentage than the men did, and, it just, and it's happening in the first quarter in the women's game. Same exact thing. A higher shooting percentage by the visitors, but uh, Rippon putting up more shots. Cornell with six turnovers, and Rippon with three in that first quarter. Well, that's a nice stat if you're a coaching staff over there for the Red Hawks to have three only in the first quarter. Well, my thought is, is you've given up six, and you're only down by one in the turnover department. Yeah, if um, those couple threes on top by Cornell, if they can continue with that, that could create havocs, havoc for Rippon and that, that'll open up the high-low game for them. Rippon will have to come out and defend the perimeter shot. Osborne will bring it up into the forecourt. Simmons this time being guarded by Bonnie Jensen. Throw back out. Gandrup looks inside to Waters. Waters on the drop step again. This time she'll run out of room and get called for the travel. I thought he might call three seconds, but it's same result. That's well, two times now I think they've bricked up on her and, and yeah. she got the walk on it. Sydney Pittenger, good job there. Sydney Pittenger has to take advantage of her floor time now with Bressa with two fouls. Kiana Fall on the outside edge. Now the right side, Opelt, and she handles well, doesn't she though? Yep. Seven on the shot clock for Leslie and a three-pointer, no good. Rebounded out, Pittenger will get it. Here comes Leslie trailing, puts up the shot, gets blocked. Oh, Water, great block by Waters. Minute gone here in the second quarter. Gandrip over to the right side, Osborne. Simmons now working against Jensen once again into the lane and a push off. I thought he was going to call a walk. Illegal screen is what they call, okay. Yeah, I thought when um, Simmons came around to, to square on that shooter, she shuffled her feet before she squared. Okay, now they're... Now what? Calling it the other way? Check that. It'll be on the Red Hawks on Bonnie Jensen. Oh boy. Two of your better post players, starters, both with two fouls. Jensen no, Jensen's and just got one. They put her at two originally, but okay. now she just has one. All right. Gandrup will look back. There's March with it, with Opelt right there with her. Yeah, good job with. Seven on the shot clock, another deep three. That won't go this time. And we got a hook around. Yeah, I think that's going to go on number, is it 10 for Cornell? 11. Reese with it. Six foot sophomore. Kiana Fall will walk up the uh, ball into the forecourt. 15, 14, 8, 29. Rippin leads by one. Both of these teams have yet to score a point in the second quarter. Pittenger, get away from that baseline. Six on the shot, here comes Leslie out of the room. Jensen's gotta put one up at the buzzer, the shot clock, and that'll be a shot clock violation. Yeah, she, she was off balance when she went up, she missed the iron. Good defense by the Rams. Adewusi will be back in for the Rams and also Madison Osborne. Yeah. Watch Osborne if she gets on, she catches fire from the perimeter on those threes. That'll be good news for Cornell. Back to the top, they'll work with March out of Lucy. This time will work against Leslie. Osborne 
Shot from Waters is no good. Long iron rebound comes out to Kiana Fall. Good defense on that series by Rippin. Opelt on the catch on the side. As the Red Hawks will try to set something. And Cornell right there shadowing. Leslie trying to post up on her smaller opponent. Over to the corner, picked off. Jensen will close out though. And then the catch by Osborne on the left edge. Step back, three, good. Like I said, Osborne catches fire on the threes, look out. That's a lead now for the Rams at the seven minute mark till halftime. First lead of the ball game and a timeout taken by coach Lauren Musilaki, 32nd timeout. And the Red Hawks, last time they put a basket in was at the 108 mark in the first quarter. Wow. So over three minutes. Three, almost four. Four, yeah. So yeah, a little it, bit of. It's a different game when you don't have uh, uh, Brescia, Skyler Brescia out there. It's because uh, the, the offense goes through her. When they, they go with a high post with Skyler, and a lot of a lot of good things come off of that. They'll collapse on her, and she finds the open person cutting baseline without the ball. That's not happening right now for Rippon. A lot of ball movement out on top of the circle, but not a lot of this penetration dribble. So Rippon's got to find a way with Fell running the show. Kiana Fall, I should say. Inbounds goes to Kiana Fall from Belo Pelt. 17-15, Rams lead the Red Hawks. Up top, Opelt between the wheels. Leslie had a three-pointer earlier in the game, been pretty quiet since then. This could be a critical part of the game. Looks like the intensity on Cornell is picking up. Jensen will go baseline. They got three defenders on her. Leslie got a foot on the line. That was because of the errant pass. Got to hit him in the hands. If you're going to try to set the table for a teammate to free him up for a three-point shot, you got to hit him right in the hands. If they're reaching for it, the defense closes out and takes away that opportunity. Osborne will work around. Beat fall on the edge. Waters posting, working against Sydney. Pittenger and Jensen will close on. Nice feed from Waters right there to March to come through. Oh, March right down the lane line on a beautiful, she drops a dime down the lane line on a nice bounce pass. Opelt this time over to Allison Leslie. 19, 15, six minutes remaining here in the second quarter. And that one's gonna go out of bounds. That Mental defense mistake. has Rippin zigging and zagging right now. Coming off of that timeout, that's not what Coach Buzalaki had hoped to see uh, back out on the court. She's going to put some defense herself out there. Jordan Pittenger. Bacouris. Yeah. Trailing by four. This is the first lead. Cornell with a chance to improve on that lead. Brush is at the scorer's table to check back in at the yeah. next opportunity. Nope. Not a good defensive play. Courts came in, gets a foul. Body Jensen will sit. Keep an eye on Brescia with two fouls here. Got to play clean. That yeah, tells you something about my comment about the offense goes through her. Coach with two fouls in the first half. A lot of time left in the first half. Puts Skyler Brescia out there. Maya Murray. Now that's the defense we're looking for. Upset the passing lanes that time on an inbounds at Bokaritz. 19-15, Rams leading the Red Hawks. March over the right side, there's Osborne. Wide open in the shot, no good, rebounded out. Kiana Fall, she's got numbers. Yeah, man, they close in. quickly on defense though, man. Yeah, they did. Awesome. Opelt with a catch on the right side. Yeah, didn't want to shoot the three. Leslie, a little arm bar. Goes a long way today. Well, she has pressure if she wants her. Fall will work her way through and the scoop up and basket good. How's that for an athletic basketball move? 
giving up a half a foot. Well, I think if you've, uh, if you're 5-1 through most of your career, you learn that scoop shot pretty well. Yeah, and if you shoot a jump shot, you learn to shoot behind your head on the release. Fall on the three-point old-fashioned is no good. 19-17, Rams lead the Red Hawks. Five minutes and change left here. That one's knocked out of there. Got it. Opel will run it down. Got it. I Got to capitalize. Wonder, wonder what her time was in the shuttle run. <laughs> Kiana Fall got that one inside there, Kick. and that's going to be a kicking violation or a foul. Either way, Cornell didn't like the call. Yeah, it wasn't just. Yeah, he didn't like the kick call. I think the, the rule is that it has to be intentional, right? right? And that's why the last one down here was not called. Anaya Simmons back in. Here's the three on the way from Opelt. That won't go. Rebounded uh, Brescia. Fire back over to the side. Opelt kind of about 10 people on her. Shot on the way. Leslie Good. Wow. And that's what Brescia can do. She can get it to a teammate who can feed Leslie. Leslie makes the Ray and Hawks lead 2019. Shot. Three, Anawusi no good. Out of bounds. Good hustle by Fall. But she fell out of bounds. She did. Ended up in the lap of some of her other yeah. teammates. Yeah, you don't want that on the bad guy's bench. All right, the inbounds coming from Simmons. 427 remaining here in the first half. Koritz, great defense there, helping out. Adelusi will back it out. Under yeah. 10 on the shot clock. Osborne will look to feed inside. Oh, uh, you can't do that. You got two fouls, and now you got... She's, not, she's done for this half. Oh, yeah. I mean, she may not even start the second half. If it's the game is close, I won't be surprised if she doesn't even start. And that's what Bokaritz, uh, Bok Bokaritz also did for Rippon on that reach around on the high post. Adewusi in the scoop. Shot on the way. Check that. That's uh, Simmons. Hey, that's 5'10". Simmons going up like that. Yeah. Talk about athleticism. I talk about Jensen. For the Red Hawks. That's what Simmons can do. She's just a sophomore. Leslie with the foul. Simmons at the free throw line. 20 to 19. Chance to tie it up. She does. But Kenny Boyd, I've heard of that high school in Chicago. <laughs> Vanessa Solano checking in for the Hawks. The uh, five foot five inch freshman from Milwaukee played a ball at Martin Luther. Well, she did, and then the ref said you can't go in yet. Yeah, not quite yet, but <laughs> she smiling. will be. Hey, how's that for a how's that for an anxious freshman, <laughs> right? huh? She uh, has she holds the record thousand point club and the most threes ever made at her uh, alma mater. I think it's the same as Bonnie Jensen. Looking to the outside edge and ripping, and Cornell tied at twenty. Vanessa continuing to wait at the scorer's table. <laughs> Five on the shot clock. Fial will come in and gets tripped up. Contact. Who does she think she is, Ryan Steffes? Right, exactly. Good job. Maintain the dribble. You're not going to be able to shoot it over the trees, so get to the free throw line. This is where you need someone, a freshman like this, Coach Puzalaki, hoping that someone like... Uh, Solano can maybe pick up where she left off in high school with her three-point shooting. First free throw is good from Kiana Fall. Makes it a 21-20 lead for Rippon. Next one won't go. Rebound, big pull from Simmons there. Yeah, it was. 340 remaining in the first half. Good ball screen by Simmons. Shot on the way, no good. Adewusi and another one. No good. Rebound. Save. Whoa. Solana will bring it up. She's got to wait because she's got five on four. As Bacortz catches up. Now fall. Over to Bacortz. Left side. Solano for a three. That'll go. 
Look at you, Marty, calling the big ball. Boy, talk about taking the good medicine when you need it. Listen to the doctor. 24 20, 256 remaining. And they respond accordingly with a nice baseline little jumper. Two point game again under three minutes. Kiana Fall this time. Over to the left side edge, McCourts finding Solano. Over to Fall. Inside to Pittenger. Pittenger. Got to kick back out to Allison Leslie. Fall. Got nine on the shot clock. Got to work her way through. Good feed coming through. Solano puts it up and basket good. Well, there's the spark you needed. Yeah. Like I said, a member of the Thousand Point Club. Same school as Bonnie Jensen, Martin Luther. And Woosie looking to the left side to march now to Waters. Under two minutes to go. Waters from the free throw line off the glass. Called it. She'll take it. Hey, you know what? Running the high post. No one's going to, everybody fell off of me. Okay. 26 24. Ripping leading. Solano now. Kiana fall. Basket good. All of a sudden, the ball's falling for both teams a little bit more. And a timeout taken by Brassi. Cornell. Well, the uh, spark that was uh, needed to happen has happened with Vanessa Solano coming in. Yeah, quick five, huh? Outside and inside. Get, get you know, when any time, you know, you can tell she's well schooled. It's one thing just to be a three point scorer, catch and shoot, catch and shoot. It's another thing to move like that without the ball, come down the lane. And uh, I believe that was Keanu Fall with the assist for the bounce pass. Correct. Red Hawks lead this one 28-24. Their biggest lead was seven back in the first quarter. The other thing about Rippin, uh, Leslie, I like the way that she does not force the three. You know, everybody's expecting every time she touches the ball, you know, keep getting some sort of a record, right, with rain and threes. She doesn't force it. And on the other side, uh, they're starting to look pretty good to me on the offensive boards. Rippin's going to have to do a better job of sealing off people like Simmons currently and she's on the bench Simmons 28 24 Rippin leading with a minute 23 remaining that's a good way to keep her off the glass Murray over to Adousi Gandrup now will come in and almost picked out of there by McCuritz what are they going to call jump ball let's see it yes jump ball I get nervous every time you reach around on that slap on the high post, waiting for that whistle. Abby Hartman will inbounds. Hartman inside to fall, and then Bakuritz out there, Solano and Pittenger. Names we don't hear that often, but if, so, certainly not this combination. Right. Yeah. You got two starting forwards with fouls. Shot on the way, three, Solano no good, rebounded out. It was straight, that's a good sign. Under 45 seconds to go here in a four point lead for Rippin. Waters this time again over to Murray for a three, that'll go. Pretty. 28-27, 28 seconds to go. Kiana Fall will look back at coach figure out what they're going to run for one shot clock off. Yeah, I think first of all, they want to make, hopefully, make sure they score last. Well, I think maybe you look for the contact, maybe with a Pen with a dribble drive. Right. Maybe not. Now you're just looking Spin for a shot. Put up the shot. No good. Nice Waters shot. with the rebound. I'm sorry. Yeah. Nice shot. Was that Hartman with that? Yep, correct. So it is halftime, and the Red Hawks lead 28-27, uh, very similar to what we saw in the first game. Yeah, I guess it was in the uh, in the owner's manual. <laughs> Must keep it within one point at halftime is what it reads. So. <laughs> wow. We'll step it's away. Good basketball. Yeah, we'll step away, come back with the second half in just a little bit. You're watching Rippin College Women's Basketball on Midwest Conference Television and the Rippin Channel.
Welcome back to Johnson Gillespie Court at the Wilmore Center on the Ripon College campus. We are at halftime. The Red Hawks leading the Rams 28-27. Just a quick look at some halftime statistics for you. We'll start with points so far. Red Hawks being led by Allison Leslie with six. Kiana Fall with five. Also Vanessa Solano with five. Four from Skyler Brescia. Four from Bonnie Jensen. Two from Abby Hartman. Two from Sydney Pittenger as well. For Cornell, they are led by Callie March with nine, six points from Madison Osborne, four points from Rachel Adewusi, four points from Madison Waters, one from Anaya Simmons, and three from Maya Murray. Shooting percentages, 48% for Cornell, 41% for Rippin. 28-27, you're starting five for the Red Hawks. Jensen, Leslie, Sydney Pittenger, Opelt and Kiana Fall. Pittenger in there for the foul situation with uh, Skyler Brescia, who's got three. Waters for Cornell. We'll get it back out. Here comes March through the lane. And good. Good Excellent. job by March on the mismatch, recognizing it on a blow by to the rim. That was from uh, actually Osborne, my bad. 29-28, Cornell takes the lead momentarily. Adewusi in there, March, Osborne, Simmons, and Waters starting five for the Rams. Hand on that one is... Yeah, nice athleticism by Simmons. Fake a pass, make a pass against someone like that. Inbounds will come from Bello Opelt. I want to thank the rally band for performing at halftime today, both the men's and women's game. Here's Leslie for a three. That won't go. Opelt will clear the rebound and come through the middle and reload. Kick back out. Kiana Fall doing what she does best, driving the lane, put up that little shot. Not good there. A little under the rim. Osborne will work to the right side wing. Waters and Pittenger. Smart, got on her. smart defense. Simmons will go back out under 10 on the shot clock over to March. Picked off Opelt. She's got numbers. Opelt stopped the dribble, work her way through, handed off inside, shot put up, no good. Bonnie Jensen will go to the line though. Probably not the way it's drawn up on the marker board, but it worked out for the Red Hawks. <laughs> Adawusi on the foul. That'll be her third. Opelt, when she penetrated, dribbled, and put the brakes on, right then and there, she could stop and pop if she wanted to. Jensen, free throw. That one's going to miss back iron. Ripping three of nine today at the stripe. Can't do that in tight games. Next one is no good either. 30% rebound out by Leslie back to Jensen. Don't forget Jensen playing with two fouls. Opelton this time. Fall is going to get drilled from March. Helps her up. Well, the officials appreciate March making the call easy on their behalf. <laughs> <laughs> Cornell 29, Red Hawks 28. <laughs> Twenty-eight, twenty-nine, eight oh eight remaining. We've just had the one score so far by the Rams in the second half. Jensen. Look throw back out. Good and now hand. Waters will go on that. Let's just give uh, Riley, our producer, a little bit of a heads up. It's getting a report of some no audio right now on the stream, so Okay. Just so we know. Gotta fix that string. 29, I want to tighten up the wire just a little bit. <laughs> See what's going on with it. Shot on the way, put up, and no good from Waters. Another shot up, no good. Sidney Pittenger pulls the rebound, and foul will be called. Good job by Sidney Pittenger. 29, 28, 7, 26 remaining. Vanessa Solano will do the inbounds. Third, 
Fall will look to Jensen. Leslie on the left wing. 7-12 remaining here in the, fir in the uh, third quarter. Pittenger picked out of there from Simmons. Great double. Simmons will wait, hand back, shot on the way for a three. No good, rebound down. Kiana Fall will come away with it. I think Cornell took that away from Cornell on that. Jensen on the drive, scoop, basket and foul. Once again, Jensen doing a great job, did it in the first half early in the game, avoiding the uh, charge, and this time finishing. Very nice, because you're, you're kind of holding your breath on that, because if it goes the other way, you got two starting forwards with three fouls with a lot of ball to be played. Jensen with the basket, and now to the free throw line for one. That's good. Yeah, she missed her last two. Both were strong, weren't they? That time, that was right down the cylinder. March will hand off, and ball will go out of bounds off of Rippon. 31-29, 6.37 remaining. It's going to be interesting to watch Solano, the freshman, how she, in a game like this, how she presents herself. You got a foul. You're going to call it on foul, on fall? They sure yes. are. She's probably saying, where's the justice in this country? I'm laying on, put my back on the floor. <laughs> and I'm the guilty party as well. Coach Busey Lockie looking for an answer as well. Turn around, Simmons good. There's an inbounds play they've run before. Tied at 31 with 625 remaining here in the third quarter. Simmons almost got another one yeah, for Vanessa they, Solano. They could have called it. Jensen on the right side, cross courts it over to Solano for a three. Yep. Well, I'm starting to understand why maybe she made a shipload of threes in high school. <laughs> I guess I better stick with boat. Yeah, I would say. <laughs> Shot on the way it's up for three on the answer on the other end. Yeah. Tied at 34. We'll trade them back and forth, right? Great answer. Great game. Keanu Fall on the dribble will go to the left side, back over to Solano, wind up another three. No rebound. Pittenger, she'll go up hard to the basket, put it in good. Boy, you talk about the term muscling it in. That's, that's the picture of it right next to the definition. 36 34, Red Hawks 5 30 remaining. Well done by the Broomfield, Colorado. Good. Don't reach. Waters will throw back out. There's March with it. Inside, Waters picked off of Jensen. No help. Jensen will wait, fire to the left side edge, top shell. Travel, yep. <laughs> 36-34 with 5.08 remaining. Rippon's got four walks unofficially, uh, unforced, and in, and in tightly contested games. You got to get rid of that bad habit. Right. Up the court come the Rams. See the Reese checking in. Out of Woosie. Good move. Powered up. Gets her own rebound. Back up and good. Just strong and aggressive. Tied at 36 with 442 remaining. In the third quarter. Leslie with it, running out of real estate. She'll have to ditch, find Vanessa Solano, and that'll be out of bounds. Good job by Solano making herself available when Leslie was in trouble with a dead ball, no dribble. Quickly will get it in and miscommunication yeah, I again. I think so, right? Yeah. March will step up for the three. That'll miss. Hit the retraction cable, and we're going to hear the Lynn Krause line on that right. one. Right. 
36-36-419 remaining here in the third. Low scoring affair. And brushes back in at the high post with her three fouls. Tied at 36 and up top they'll work to Bacoritz. Inside to Brescia. Brescia will work through, basket and one. I mean, are you kidding me? Skylar Brescia in the half court offense and scoring and rebounding, it's about as easy as breathing air. <laughs> Adewusi gets her fourth foul. And the shot on the way from Brescia, that's going to be short, no good. Rebound comes out to the Rams. March with it. Nice Goes behind move. the back, yeah. yeah. Hesitation, stop and go. She's got the whole package. Osborne, three good. Wow. 39, 38, 340. Give March a lot of credit for setting the table on that basket. Kiana Fall with the basketball. Right side wing. Leslie up top with 10 on the shot clock. Give and go back to Leslie on something that wasn't going to happen and missed the shot. Yep. Didn't finish. Everything was right. Right side on the... Waters works her way around, basket and foul, and that's going to be... Well, we could either call it on Fall or Leslie. Ooh. Either way, it's someone from Clayton High School. Brescia, fourth. Brescia? Yeah. Really? Hmm. Sydney Pittenger will come in. Wow, don't see that. Okay. Taylor Reese back into the ball game. Waters three, uh, I should say free throw was good. What nope. a huge call that was. Yeah, she came in at about the six minute mark, so she got three minutes in. Waters on the second is good. Yeah, made an immediate impact. Jensen will come back in for Bacourts. And Rippon will bring the ball up the court with Kiana Fall. 2.57 left here in the third. 40 38 Cornell leading Rippon. Fall looking to pressure, comes through. Opelt will come back and now have a travel. Check that, that's Abby Hartman, my bad. Yeah, they're doing a nice job of taking away penetration dribble forcing that turnover by Rippon. That's a statistic Rippon's going to look at after this game and see that they need to minimize turnovers. March this time will drive through the lane and get fouled. So conversely, March with the ability to break down the Rippon defense, but not so much down at the other end of the court. That's going to be on Kiana Fall. That'll be her second. And March will shoot two. Good. It looks like Vanessa Solano is going to check in as well. I think Coach ne realizes she needs more offense out there. Basket is good. He's hoping that the freshman from the Milwaukee area can provide it. Four point lead now for the Rams with 2.25 remaining here in the, the third quarter. Yeah, it's got to be close going in that fourth quarter. Solano. Hartman over to Jensen. Kiana Fall works her way through, puts up the shot, can't get it to go. Simmons once again cleans the glass. Talk about shooting, Kiana Fall is two of 10 today in baskets. 
Yeah, it's big in there. It's a walk. And that's a traveling violation. 42-38, Cornell leading with a minute 51 remaining here in the third quarter. Gandrup into the ball game again for the Rams. Hartman will get it into fall, and uh, Coach Usalaki wants to chat a little bit about it before the last two minutes come to an end here in the third quarter. Yeah, look for her to put in a set play to free a three-point shooter. I would be willing to put a little bit on that. Um, that I think, set play being what? Mm -hmm. I think Cornell was playing good basketball right now. I think they're well balanced in their half court offense. They've been feeding um, Waters all day. Rippon's done a great job on Waters, but Waters does a good job of finding teammates. And uh, they got a good balance from beyond the three point line it seems. And then in transition, they've gotten some nice baskets. 42-38, the Rams leading by four here with a minute 48 remaining. And with Brescia on the bench with four fouls, they, uh, the offense hasn't been nearly as smooth for the Red Hawks with her on the bench. Kiana fall between the circles over the side. Valesta and Solano for three. That will not go. Rebounded out. Rippon comes away with it. Here comes Jensen on the crash. Basket up and good for Bonnie that, Jensen. That was the set play. And she just didn't deliver on the three, but what a nice offensive board, huh? Someone keeping it alive for Sid Pitt to grab it and feed Jensen. Over to the left side, Gandrup with it. Back over to March. Simmons this time on the quick dribble at the free throw line. She'll stop. Back to March. Three on the shot clock over the top of Pittenger. No good. Rebound. Simmons had it. Lost it. Who's this on? Oh, it's going to go against Jensen, her third. Uh, 33 maybe. So that's Sidney Pittenger. Her first personal. And the team's fourth. Wow. I'm always looking at the players around the ball when the whistles come. I'm sometimes a little mystified. Osborne's got it now, looking for the runner. Nope. March with it again up top between the circles. Good move. Right side over to Simmons. She'll go on the baseline and now have a body check. And Simmons okay? So anyway, um, I'll tell you, I'm impressed. Like you just said, a good move. I think uh, Callie March reminds me the male counterpart of Sindel for Lawrence. The craftiness. The changing of speeds with the ball, uh, the stop and go, the stutter dribble, all of that behind the back, changing the speeds. It allows her to get separation on the court to either stop and pop or continue to the rim and find a teammate. She does it very effectively. Nice, Simmons' first free throw is no good, and she's in some pain. Trying to stretch that out, she took that. I think the knee right off the side of the Well, hip. if she got a knee a, 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 to a quad maybe, huh? And then yeah. if that's the case, that it's not going to get any better. <laughs> I think we've dropped some symbols of the band over there. Uh, Shot up and good. Basket to tie it at 42. It, it wasn't a short, Sam, a short song. Okay. Tied at 42, under 28 seconds to go here. Yeah, I guess you need to drop cymbals. That's a different than <laughs> dro dropping a flute. March with a basket. No, she'll get called for the charge. Well, I just got done talking about her craftiness and took one dribble too long. Or too many, I should say. Big call because in a tie game with 21 seconds, Rippin's going to get an opportunity to take the lead with at the end of the third. Now, what? So Leslie will come in. And Maya Murray will come in for the Rams. 20.9 remaining in the third, tied at 42. Fall to the right side of Jensen. 
Solano, basket free throw, good. Wow, talk about pull-up jumpers. 44-42, Red Hawks lead, under five to go here in the third. Lose the Step. dribble. Leslie's Leslie. gonna chuck one. Buzzer, yes! Oh! oh! Oh, she hit it! I disagree with the call by the official. Did he say no? Oh! Did I don't, they, the refs missed the call. Wow, in a game like this. So no call on the half court. Wow. So Rippon still leading by two. I'm trying to pull up the replay on our feed. Uh-huh, yeah. To see if it's gonna be close. Well, we know it's close. That, you know, it, I, there's been two instances in this game where the assigning of fouls um, twice, where I've, I've questioned who they assigned the foul to, not that there was a foul call, but who they assigned it to. Right. I got into the, the stream a little bit later, yeah. so I can't see the replay on it, so. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it doesn't allow me to right now, so. But all three of us on our broadcast team were like, yeah, that was, yeah. That was out, off the hand before it went. Before it went, yeah. 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 So, Red Hawks. Well, we're a small town, <laughs> and, you know, you don't get the best of everything. But what a game. Ripping by a deuce, ripping a inbound. 10 minutes of action remaining. Leslie this time will get it into Kiana Fall over to the left side at the top of the circle now. One thing's for sure, it's gonna fire your team up, right? Even if it didn't go, right? Yeah, yeah, good point. Fall will step up 15 nope. feet, that'll be short. Got blocked maybe along the way. Yeah, I, I, either that or she aimed it. I wasn't sure which. Osborne this time will go to the left edge. Shot put up and blocked that time by Leslie. But into the hands of Waters. Pittenger working against Waters. Now throws back out Osborne three. That'll go. Yeah, Osborne, that's probably at least her fourth, maybe her fifth three. Right. Leslie to the right side, I should say. Pittenger. Be smart, and she is. Now Allison back out behind the three-point line. Leslie will feed it inside. Nice. Good move, Pittenger post up, basket no good. Foul is though. Adewusi will get her fifth, I think. I think if I think if Adewusi stays straight up and doesn't bend down for the ball, I think right. I think the call goes the other way. That is her fifth. So Pittenger well, will. Well, that's the bad news for Cornell. The good news is Simmons comes back in. But how is that leg for Simmons? She's deaf. Look, she, I think she, I think she took a knee or a hip to that quad muscle. Sure. And if, let me tell you, there is nothing more, um, I'll say uncomfortable. Okay. <laughs> than a shot to the quad, a, a, a deep bruise. Pittenger with the free throw, good. And, and it's only going to stay at its best right now. Right. I dare say in the next few hours, <laughs> when this game is long over, it's going to feel like a concrete block. Next one from Pittenger. That one's no good. Rebound comes out. And yeah, missed it all. Missed it all, yep. 45-45. And no, you're not stuttering. It's a tie game. Yeah. Boy, you hope you don't come down to that questionable call on whether that was a buzzer beater or not, right? Yeah, well, well, we've seen a lot of unforced turnovers by Rippon, yeah, too. Yeah, that's true. You know? Waters goes but up I know what you're foul. saying. Yeah. They're going to call that reach on Pittenger. I would, but I say who they're going to call it on. i got to stop saying that because <laughs> I'm getting surprised. Her second. For Sidney Pittenger. Her third. Yeah, her second. Inbounds will go to Simmons, hand back out. 
Osborne with it over to March. Been kind of quiet the last couple Deep. of minutes. And that one goes up no good. Jensen on the rebound comes out. Cornell done a great job the entire game of getting back and not really giving fast break points to Rippon. Basket up and good that time for Kiana Fall. You will not know who's got, if she's left-handed or right-handed when she's pedestrian, Kiana Fall. On the shot on the other end, good this time from oh, Callie March. What a floater, speaking of Colorado. This time, left side kick. Over to the right side wing, shot for a three is long. Rebounded out. Mm. And they had a nice screen from Pittenger setting that three-point shot up. Tied mm. again. Cornell will work it around. Ooh, moving screen. And that was a roadblock. I think they're going to check her out of the game for just a second. Yeah. Keanu Fall will come Make out. Make sure all the parts are still attached. So Fall fell after that moving screen. That goes against okay. March for third. Training staff will check her just to make sure she's okay. Jensen. Pittenger now on the right side. Yep, that's not her game. Smart. Vanessa Solano will look over to Pittenger. Hand back to Leslie. Get the screen. Eight Pitt on the clock. Good move, Pittenger. Basket no good. Oh. Rebound comes up. Good take. Pick and roll. Tied at 47, 715 remaining. And a timeout taken by Cornell. Boy, I, I tell you, I, I haven't seen a game any better than this year when both coaches are taking timeouts. They just seem like they're so locked in. They understand when to do that. So you got a tie game here with seven minutes and a little bit more than that. And neither team's been able to get a lot of separation right. from the other. And it's, it was the previous men, men's game that Ripon Redhawks went down, swinging. And this game's shaping up to have the same type of finish to it, where it's going to be anybody's game with probably less than two minutes. Right, 63-57, the men falling to Cornell earlier this afternoon. I'll have to look at the game ending stats on that men's game. I thought DeVolk had a nice game and boards, some scoring. Simmons will get it this time. Shot on the way, no good. Rebound comes out. She'll get it back. Now fire three point basket is good. That's Kendra. Wow. That was all made possible by the shooter, Simmons, reeling in her offensive rebound to set the table for her teammate on the three. Opelt with the rock. Hands it off. Jensen, Sidney Pittenger picked off by March. March will go up with it. Basket good. 52 47, five point lead for the Rams. They've been doing that all afternoon on those east west passes by Rippon. That time almost, almost did it again. Yeah. Solano over to the right side to Leslie. And another timeout taken by Coach Lauren Busalaki. Wants to get Kiana Fall back in. Wants to get Skyler Brescia back in. Get her team settled in. Put an inbounds play in. Maybe this time when she does it, they'll drop a three. So it's a full timeout also that Busalaki took for the Red Hawks. Red Hawks will host Beloit on Tuesday nights back here at the Wilmore Center. That's usually, uh, what, a Five and seven? Five thirty-seven thirty. Okay. On Tuesday. Uh, we'll be doing you'll are you are you doing that? Or are you I'll be here for that one. Yeah. And I think you'll be across town at the high school game, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So, so we got to cover. This is uh double headers in college basketball at uh it's a uh, it's something that's I don't know how long they've been doing it now, but it's certainly for basketball fans is a plus. Yes. Not even considering the financial oh. 
advantages by the respective, Travel, school, right, by the respective yeah. schools. Exactly, makes sense. All right, 57, 40, I should say 52, 47, Cornell leading Rippon. 621 remaining here in the third, in the fourth quarter. Man, let's just re-rack and try that one again. Yeah. 52, 47 in the fourth. They stacked it, curl move by fall, kicks it out for the three. Solano for the three, got it! Boy, she likes to set the table for threes when she's coming off of a timeout. Curl move by fall, and she, if she had it, she was gonna take it, didn't. Drew the defense, and Solano, the freshman. 15 points for Solano. Waters buries one in from eight. Left hand. Somebody's got to come back and let Kiana fall inbounds. Bonnie Jensen will run back. <laughs> one of the, uh, definitely one of the fundamentals of the game. <laughs> and Brescia and Allison Leslie just ran into each other on the outside wing there. Solano in the corner this time. Work her way out. Leslie inside, good move. Body Jensen, basket up and good. She's always been a nice finisher around the basket. Bonnie Jensen. 54-52. So, five straight unanswered points by the host team. Gandrip will come off the release. She'll go high to the right, and Jensen comes in and puts a block on her. Yeah, I, I think if she just tries to get position, and uh, not, not swing at the ball for a block. The call then becomes more interesting. All right, that'll be her third personal. Boy, I tip my hat to Simmons coming out here. If, that's, if she's got what I'm thinking she's got. Tough. She's playing on one and a half legs. Gandrup, free throw, good. 55, 52, 509. Next toss is true. So now it's going to come down to in these closing minutes with Rippon trailing by four. Who's got the focus and the mental toughness? Kiana Fall with the dribble to the top right side. Solano, yeah, couldn't hold on to her moment. Oh, they call the travel. Tough break for the Red Hawks because every possession, when particularly for the team that's trailing. Jordan Bakuritz will come in. <laughs> like the way Coach Busalaki was trying to figure out who she's going to put in, but she wasn't giving the ball to the official <laughs> until she made, made that decision. <laughs> Might have been sending a message about, about something else, too. Gandrum. Uh-oh. Left side, three-pointer on the way, no good. Rebounded out, Brescia. Dodged one there. Kiana Fall, ripping trailing 56-52. Give inside, Vonnie Jensen, got double team. Brescia will work her way through, too far underneath. Gets the rebound, back up, and will go to the line. That foul trouble on Brescia that re it demanded her time on the bench has really been a big part of this game. Anaya Simmons on the foul. It's kind of Brescia at the free throw line. So with Solano taking a seat, Rippon's a little bit bigger. They're going to try to match that size down low and let the point guard fall. Red Try Hawks. to supply the perimeter part of the game on offense. Six of 17 from the free throw line today. 56-53, nice move. March puts it up and good. That is that. That's just like the player for Lawrence. Sid Sidel, my goodness, Sindel. What a move. Jensen's going to go baseline against Simmons, and uh, we'll get fouled. That'll be her fourth personal and the fourth team. And that's a player who does not get into foul trouble since. Oh, right. Might be playing a little slower. 
Solano checking back in. Red Hawks down by five. Fall comes back out with it. Brescia will fight her way through it. Going to travel. Yeah. A lot of travels on Rippon today's game. I'm going to say more than a half dozen. 58-53. Cornell leading Rippon. 340 remaining. Griffin needs stops now. It's getting to that point, trailing by five with three and a half. March for a three won't go. Rebound will come out. Leslie up the court for Rippin. Russia. She'll go. Finish up and good. That first step. No way could Waters come out like that and challenge her. You saw why. Osborne will run the point quickly around the perimeter and inside. Waters goes up with it, no good. Rebounded out Brescia. Smart play by Brescia not to get her fifth on the shot and be close enough to get the rebound. Fall. We'll back it out to Leslie. Three-pointer will tie. Solano over to Jensen. Jensen's got some lane, puts up the shot, good. See, and Simmons couldn't go with her on that. That was an example. Well, it also goes back to the fact Adewusi is fouled out at about the, the five-minute mark. Yeah. Yep. So that's his big three, Waters, Adewusi, and Simmons. She so got an injured one and one without a foul. Three is oh. no good. Rebound Brescia. Chance to take the lead for the Hawks. Right side, Solano had the dribble. Yeah, she had the three. Back out to the edge to Leslie. Jensen, this time again, goal. Just to, I think she was trying to do the same thing. Now the hoop, this is on, they're going to call it on, well, let's see. That'll be on Simmons. That'll be it for her. Yeah, and what they're saying is it should go on March. See, March is talking to the official. It was March that had the swipe. And these are some of the calls. I see I saw it on March but it's a foul regardless Simmons is gone so two of the bigs with two minutes left with a chance for Riffin to take the lead Jensen free throw line that one is good second one on the wing tie ball game chance to take the lead that's going to roll out. No good rebound. Brescia there. Back out. Leslie, good. Imagine that. Brescia on a missed free throw with a rebound. 60 to 58. March. They were take a timeout. They were just down. It seems like by six not too long ago as, like you said, Cornell takes the timeout. And we're being treated everything going into this game. I thought it might be, but to see it come to fruition like this, it's a different thing when you right. talk in emotions. Right. Ah. I, I, I feel for the Rams in that Simmons with that injury was not able to do what she is uh, able to do. Uh, so we're at the minute and 50 mark left here in the fourth quarter. The last points from Cornell came at the 4-16 mark. And there's been a couple of threes by uh, Osborne and by March that have just looked like they're good and they've rimmed out. Right. And that's what they've been living on because now they've lost that inside presence because they do a good job ripping um, forwards, do a good job of walling up on Waters to make her less of an offensive threat. Waters has been more effective as a high post player distributor. And now those two bigs that are sitting for Cornell that have supplied offense and rebounding are no longer a factor with the game on the line. So what my question is, who's the, who's the five out here for Rippin? Well, that'll be uh, answered momentarily. Fall, Jensen, Solano, Brescia, and Leslie. You got good ball handler. You got two good rebounders, a good ball handling forward, and a freshman uh, player that's showing she can do more than shoot threes. Yeah, she's got 15 today. Gander up to the right side. Leslie over to March. It's a Gander guarded by Leslie over to March. Solano will come out. Look uh -oh. at that crossover. Shot on the way. Kiana Fall puts the block in front of her, but not good for March. 
Great weak side box out by Leslie. Run a play, right? Get it set here. Yeah, play like you have the lead. Brescia. Jensen this time. We don't want that whistle. <laughs> Jensen's going, no, no, don't blow the whistle. Boy, when she sees that clear path, talk about a blow by. Well, the last six points have been and, off of that move. And Coach uh, uh, Brassi has been forced to take Waters out of the game because of the matchup right. issues with Jen someone like Jensen. Maya Murray or, back into the ball game. Yeah, or Brescia stepping out. Waters can't go with him. Jensen, no good on that free throw. Yep, kind of erratic from this charity strike today. Seven of 19 are the Hawks. Ouch. That one's good. Eight of 20 means 40%, right? Yeah, hey, you drive it with me for the, uh, for the rematch down to Mount Vernon? Yeah, right? Let's get Thursday night? Yeah, let's get this one over first. Wednesday night, I should say? Yeah, I used to do that for radio. <laughs> <laughs> Gandrup this time. Shot on the way, put up. Good move, no good. Ball comes down. Maya Murray, oh, she'll get hit. Yeah. She got ball first, and then the follow-through got cranium. She's got a smile on her face. She's, she's fine. Right. Bonnie Jensen was like, oh, I'm really sorry about that. Maya's like, it's cool. Yeah, anytime you see the defender immediately at being called for the ball, go down to help him up. Free throw, no good. 61 58. The Red Hawks leading Rams. You know, as it turns out, it was a good foul so far. Murray, free throw, no good. Rebound, and what do we got here? Now what? Timeout. Don't go looking at Jensen. The ref, I don't know what, you know, hey, t you know, take charge. Look at the one that, that threw the arm out. But don't go talking to the other player. Well, Kiana Fallot had, had made the uh, contact with the official to let him know that they were going to take a timeout after that free throw. So that had been established. Yeah. So. 61-58, Red Hawks leading the Rams 55.3 remaining here in the fourth quarter. Once again, Marty got it right. Said this one was going to be good. <laughs> yeah, like I said uh, the other night, I wish my wife could hear this right now. Maybe she does. <laughs> she could be one of the people tuning on in, listening. 61-58. With a 10-month-old grandson in the lap and a, oh a soon-to-be three-year-old ruling the world, let me tell you. <laughs> All right, so Rippin coming back out onto the court. Leslie will do the inbounds. Jensen, Brescia, Fall, and Solano. Floor generals for the Red Hawks. Watch here. Watch for an opportunity to free up a shooter. Jensen this time will go in, work against Murray. She'll go to the rack, put it up, no good. Rebounded out. Jensen again, hands off to Brescia. No, back out Solano off the glass, no good either. 44 seconds, and what do we got? Jump ball, possession yeah. arrow belongs to Cornell. Yep, 43 seconds. A three ties the game for Cornell. And with the bigs that are out, starting bigs that are fouled out of the game for Coach Brasi, I got to believe he's thinking three with his guards. Each the, team with a timeout left. I'm thinking he's thinking three. Matt. Well, Waters, is it? Waters goes up and good. Yep. 61 60. Shot clock, game clock, three second difference. Kiana Fall. Over Rippin, to Leslie. Yeah. Ripping by one with the lead. Leslie Back this door. time giving in to Jensen. Lost the handle on it, goes out of bounds. Beautiful backdoor on the V cut. Jensen took her eye off the ball momentarily. The turnover. Prowse will take his final. Yeah, now with a chance to win. Woo. Oh, 61 60. Red Hawks lead the Rams. 19.7 remaining. Foul situation. Some great games here this afternoon from Alumni Day. Yeah. 
at the Wilmore. Yeah, the alumni, they always play games, so Rippon was able to hang on to beat Rippon. Yes. In the alumni game. 38-37. Oh, really? Yeah. Kind of like these two games. Right. I think they do like a 25-minute running clock. I don't let it stop or anything like that. So. It was good. I was enjoyed. In fact, I officiated some of those years ago. Oh, well, good. Yeah. I've never seen a, an official receive a technical before. <laughs> Somehow you got one. Sixty-one sixty with nineteen point seven remaining. Rippin's going to put a little token pressure on, I think. Yeah, and um, you got to be careful so that you got all five of your defenders, not not anybody chasing. Yeah, got to stay between the ball and the basket. Yeah. Osborne with the catch. Yeah. Now the setup screen from Holy Murray. Holy jeez. Yeah, they'll call it. Oh yeah. That was an easy one. It was. It's what he said. It was a staggered screen, and the on the staggered screen, Murray came out and was not set, and uh, made it easy for the official. The official is going to get an earful. Well, I don't. Well, well, he has to protect his players, right? right? And right. he's going to go out there and do that. I think if you were to watch it on video, I. Yeah, it, now you can have a hard ball screen. That's not the issue, but you got to be set. Right. And she went in with the left shoulder as yeah. well. Yeah. 61-60 yeah. Redhawks leading by one here with 15.4. So we're assuming we're expecting a, a quick foul. Because the Redhawks, well, let's be honest, haven't been great from the line. Eight of 20 today for 40%. Yeah, if I'm Cornell, I'm going to go for that with my guard. I'm going to go for that quick theft, maybe. It's not a tie game. They're trailing by one, the Rams. Right. And with 15 seconds, I'm going to go for the steal. And with the foul situation being what it is, with five on them. I, um, and it's Rippon's job also to think about I like the ball to be in my best free throw shooter's hands. Jensen looked the inbounds, finds Allison Leslie. Now Murray will come up and foul. Yep. So the question to me is Leslie, does she shoot from the 15 foot mark or from the three point line? Right. They call that um, uh, Murray at her third. Waters back into the ball game. Leslie at the free throw line. That's good. Of course, this one big because you can't be beat with a three. You can only be tied with a three. Next one on the way is good. That's soft hands. 63, 60, 14.5. Solano. You just got to make sure you don't foul a three-point shooter. March behind the arc. No timeouts left. Six on the clock. Three-pointer for March. Good. Beautiful. What I don't understand is why Rippon didn't all defend the perimeter. Fall at the buzzer, no good. Off the rim. Um, well, I don't know why Rippon would be sagging back inside because the two they still lose. Everybody should have been protecting the three-point line, which means a double on the ball. So we go to overtime, 63-63. The Red Hawks and the Rams. I'm now looking to my left to the cameraman, but more importantly, executive producer. Do we get more? compensation for overtime <laughs> and he's just turning his head right. looking the other way so five minutes okay. go on the clock and each team will get a timeout uh, I will not repeat so a lot of yeah so here we go five minutes tie game yep we we'll, uh, talk about the guts of a burglar what a great yeah. shot by the visitor. But so like many I different things I'm coming sorry. up. That shot from Allison Leslie at the end of third quarter. Yeah. Right? The yeah, free throw shooting from the Red Hawks yeah, suspect a little bit. Standard, right? Yeah. 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 
that's why I've always had a thing about people always remember the last things in, in sports in general, the team sports, about who made a mistake or what didn't go right. And then I always say, but don't forget all the other things that led right. up to that where mistakes were made, just as important. So Cali March got 20 points during regulation to lead all scores. How many fouls on Jensen for the... Bonnie Jensen has four fouls. Yes, he's got to stay cool. Jensen with the basketball to the right side on the tip. Leslie for a three, just missed. Brushes there, no good. Rebound, ah. Oh. Well, best rebounder for Rippin just got her fifth. And that'll be it for her. Big, big difference. Now it's going to be Pittenger versus Waters, which the Cornell coach likes that matchup a lot right. better. Well, and Cornell without a few of their players. Yeah, <laughs> two starting forwards. Rebounding machines. March will find Waters. Tied at 63. Back to March on the cut. Rebound no good. Taylor Reese had it, lost it. Yeah, I thought she was going to shoot that. I think that shot felt slipped down her hand. Kiana Fall to the right side. Back to the middle to work to the left edge. Solano for three. That won't go. Tipped out of there. They'll call it over the back. Yep. That'll be on Bonnie Jensen, right? That'll be it for her. Oh, no. Now you got matchup problems on the post. So now Abby Hartman into the ball game. Okay. An aggressive player. Smart veteran. So Opel will come back into the game now. Nope, Kiana Falls there. Okay, still. Since Solano's been in the majority of the second half here. Kendra will go to the free throw line. Yeah, the uh, perimeter, you know, with Leslie and Solano both three point shooters. Free throw is good for Gandrup, 64-63. The quick water bug play by the two starting guards, uh, Osborne and March, present the problem for Rippon. Good basket there to make it a two-point lead. And Rippon will bring it up the court. Keanu Fall. She'll look to set up to Solano. Pittenger, roll back out to Fall. Kiana amongst it, back to the edge, three-pointer Leslie, got it. Good job by the teammate, I think it was Hartman that understood the pass was not for her and let it go to Leslie. 66-65, Rippin leading by one. March. Take your feet with you, Pittenger. Waters goes up, no good. Rebound out, Taylor Reese. Kiana Fall ties her up. No, they'll call the foul. Chance to reclaim the lead with two free throws. That'll be Kiana Fall's third. 328 remaining. And Reese at the free throw line. That one is up, and that one's strong. First time we've seen her to the line? Yes. She's got that spider body for basketball. The long arms and legs. And that one is going to roll out, too, and now we got a foul underneath. I don't know what's being called. Lane violation. About the only call we haven't seen is a three second in the lane today, have we? No. In every other variety. And I don't know why. I don't know why they've kind of gone away from that. Uh, because there, there's players that are in there. Right. Camping. Free throw, no good from Reese. 66 65. Rippin maintains lead. Pittenger give and go back to Leslie. Up strong. Basket good. Just great job on a nice feed from Pittenger. Tough defense. Yeah, she's not going to shoot the three. I'd be surprised, but she will. March three, good. Tie ball game. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to cheat on 14 on the perimeter and try to help out where I can. 
on March and Osborne. Leslie will throw back to Fall. She'll scoot through. Solana will come back into Pittenger. Sid Pitt working around, backs out. Leslie, three in the corner. Yep. Boy, catch, what a rhythm. Good job by Pittenger to find her and to hit her right where she needed to. 71-68. Hands were cocked and ready to fire. Gandrup. Waters this time going to work against Pittenger. She'll go baseline, move it out. Travel. Yep, they got it. Well, there was about 80 fans who were willing to help the <laughs> official. With Maya that. Murray will become backing and will come back into the game. Walk. Solano will get it into Kiana Fall. I left my heart pills at home. I'm telling you, this is edge of the seat stuff. Abby Hartman on the right side. Worked against Maya Murray. Three from Leslie. That one won't go. Pittenger had the rebound, jump ball, possession arrow goes to Cornell. Good job by the Broomfield, Colorado Brad Pittenger to give her team a chance on that. Leslie would have hit that three. This place would have went crazy. Yeah. I would have had to call a timeout. 71-68. March will get it in to oh. Waters. Picked off by Vanessa Solano. And Solano will run down, work it against Murray. High to the finish. Basket no good, but the foul will be. Boy, look at the nervousness of the Cornell coach. He's been there as a player and a coach. First time at the free throw line for Vanessa Solano with 15 tonight. Being the former men's coach at Cole College for 11 years, I noticed where he plays. They play two games, this women's team. They play Cole, the arch rivals. Okay. Non-conference every year. Solano's free throw, no good. They play some other good schools too, like they'll play the Wartburgs, they'll play the Simpsons out yep. of Iowa. That Iowa State Conference is a tough conference, basketball and football. Well, if they match up against the Simpson College women who are ranked in the top five in the nation, that's a tough matchup. Run through, back out. Oh, step back, Gandrew for three, no good. Rebound pulled from Abby Hartman. 110 to go, 71 68, Red Hawks. Kiana Fall. Big possession, both teams. Pittenger with it, swinging elbows coming through. Left handed dribble, loses it. Gets on the ground, no timeout. Timeout ripping. Yeah. Woo. Boy, I don't know if Coach Busolaki's been that quick with a timeout call in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> that was a nanosecond, yeah, I think, reaction. Super quick on that one for sure. Whew. Red Hawks. 10 of 24 from the free throw line. Yeah, 71-68. Red Hawks with the ball, 55 seconds. Up by three, if my math is correct. It is. So, if I'm Cornell, I'm concerned right now. Because every time Buzulaki comes out of a timeout with the ball on the forecourt, someone's open for a shot. It's either a skip pass, staggered screen for an open three, Bonnie Jensen, who no longer is in the game, also was another option on a one-on-one -on -one drive to the rim. But that's no longer a factor. So I'm thinking penetration dribble and a kick out to someone like either Solano or Leslie for a look on a three. They got plenty of time with 12 seconds on that shot clock as well. Cornell's thinking, you know what? We go down with another basket made by Rippon in time now becomes our enemy. Rippon will walk back onto the court. No change in lineup. Solano, Hartman, Hittinger, Fall, and Leslie. Got it stacked on the lane line. Gandrup, March. 
Waters inside feed. Leslie, basket up and good. Boy, I'd like to see a replay of that, how they screened that, because that was beautiful. 73-68. March will throw back to Gandrup over the left side. Now Rippin's done a better job here of understanding who the threat is on offense. 38, those. Fial got a hand on it. Who's he going to call that on? Because Kiana Fall actually had... It'll be on her. Yeah. Her fourth? Correct. Yeah. Yeah, you did. Good point. I'm listening to the ca our cameraman, and you don't need the steal. You don't need to risk going for the steal, stopping the clock, and giving, giving them a chance to score. Right. Just play the good defense. Let them feel the pressure of the shot clock. Because the defense was really good at that moment by Rippin. Basket no good. Boy. Waters will come away with it. Yeah. Now a chance to bring this even closer. Basket on the way, three-pointer, no good. Rebound tipped out of there. We're going to get a foul on Gandrup. Coach Musilaki thinking, man, I finally got an over-the-back call. Was that Solano? Yes, correct. I tell you, Solano was not seeing the floor. I mean, the first half of this season, anyway, Right. as we begin this early in the second half of the season, we're not seeing the floor. And when you look at her contribution in today's game, regardless of how it ends, rather impressive. Well, 16 points. Second, uh, first free throw on the way is good. Yeah, so 16 points, and these right here are about as big as she's had to make in the game. Looking for a two-possession lead here. That one misses. Rebound comes out. Waters will bring it over to the side. Find Callie March. Cornell with one timeout remaining. 17 seconds, three-pointer. Good! I knew that was coming. Callie March once again. Step back three, brings it within two. 74 72, Rippin leading. Man. Woo. Callie March. 26 points. Yeah. And when I look at the losses, and I would look into the stat for TOs, turnovers. She would have some issues handling the ball with turnovers, and they would lose the game. Right. But, man, she has been extremely impressive. I can see there's always that talk about what, what constitutes a good athlete. Well, I've always, my opinion, it's always been about feet. Got to have good feet to right. start with. I don't care if you can bench press a house, if you're talking football or what have you. She's got great feet. And then you put her basketball skill set attached to that. Her ability to get separation with the dribble, I haven't seen anybody this season do it better than her. And then you add the, the offensive prowess, right. and you got a, a dangerous equation for whoever has to face her on the other side. She's four of 11 behind the three-point line today. Two of them have been huge. One to tie the ball game at 63 in regulation, and now to get them within two as they'll press in the backcourt. Taylor Reese will do so. Kiana Fall will get around the corner and get fouled by Osborne. And checking back into the ball game will be Sidney Pittenger and Jordan Bacortz. And then Waters back in for the Rams. 13.6 remaining. Kiana Fall shooting two. Free throw on the wing is up and good for Kiana Fall. 75-72. By the way, I want to thank you before I forget for going out to start my car. Sure, no problem, man. 76-72. 13 seconds remaining, four-point lead for the Red Hawks. Osborne will throw back out, hand on it by Pittenger. Pittenger's on the ground with it, look to the head, finds Kiana Fall. She'll get fouled. Yeah, that'll go probably on Osborne. Man, wasn't that interesting? Osborne realizing they wanted to maybe get a three. She's the one, the point guard. 
shooting guard drives down and kicks out to Waters of all people for right. the three. And Pinger, who was just D'ing up, great job of just saying, I'm not going to let Waters go anywhere. Ball hits her in the left arm, which she didn't even see it on, yep. the, on the kick out pass. Rippon will pull everybody off the line, make sure defensively they're back for it. Free throw is good. And remind everybody if you're a Red Hawk, let them get, let them have the two. Defend the perimeter. Right. Second one, fall, no good. Rebound, three seconds, two seconds. March is going to throw one to the right side. That will be your ball game in overtime. Wow. The Ripon College Red Hawks beating the Cornell Rams 77 to 72. Leading scorer for Ripon, Allison Leslie with 20. Callie March with 26 for Cornell. We saw some great games this afternoon, Marty. Boy, we did. The men took it on the chin and a nail biter. Women had to go to overtime to pull it out. Interesting in this women's game. Both starting forwards for both teams, both all fouled out to give you what kind of hand-to-hand uh, -hand combat it was down uh, on the block. And great play also, though not the leading scorer, but you mentioned it, Solano comes off the bench and gave Rippon the offense down the stretch in the third and fourth quarters and in overtime when they needed it also. Red Hawks come away with the victory 77-72. Want to thank you all for joining us here on Midwest Conference Television and the Rippin' Channel. Want to thank uh, Riley Eisnagel, Martin Ernst, I'm Jason Mansmith. Red Hawks win this one 77-72. Have a great night, everybody.